Hi, this is Jim's Little Boat. I'm Jim. It is cold here in Western Washington today, but it's not raining. So I'm going to take this opportunity to change the swing keel bolts. It's not a real hard job, but there are a few little tips that can make it go easier. So I'd like to share those with you. Well, my first tip is to put the keel down on the ground before you change the bolts. It weighs 500 pounds, and this way the bolts are only holding up 250 pounds of that. And in my case, I bring the boat home in October and I jack it up in the air on stands and I have plenty of room to work under it. It's just a lot easier than if you're trying to do this on a trailer. And here's another tip. Throw some cardboard down on that rough, cold concrete before you go to work. We're going to need some way to relieve the pressure on the front of the keel before we change the bolts. And I happen to have this motorcycle jack that I use to remove the keel. But... I'm going to assume that most of you don't have a motorcycle jack laying around under your boat, so let's see if we can modify a bottle jack to help us out. Here's the little bottle jack I use when I put the boat up on the stands, and I just took a piece of 2 by 3 It's good quality wood, it's not going to split, and I drilled a hole so that it will fit nicely on top of the jack and give me a little bit of balance. Let's go see if we can just take the pressure off the keel. We have the jack under the keel, and I'm pretty satisfied with the balance. But even though it's going to be held at all times by three bolts, let's not ever get our body or our arm under that keel under any circumstances. Remember, my liability is limited to what you paid me to watch this video. So we've got the new bolts, we've got the washers, and we've got the blue Loctite. This is not the brand they normally send. It's not Loctite, it's Primatex but it has to be blue. And then uh, got a 3 8 half inch wrench. And just for fun, I had to buy a inch pound wrench when I fixed the winch. So we'll test it with that to see if my uh, 132 inch pounds is correct. The old bolt comes out quite easily since it was torqued correctly the last time and we used Loctite, so it's coming right out. I'll take that out and then I'll show you about checking bolt length. When you take the bolt out, compare it to the new bolt and make sure they're the same length. It's not that Catalina Direct screws up on the bolt lengths. It's some of the Catalinas built in the 70s had different locations on the weldments and consequently the bolts sometimes are a bit too long and you have to go cut them down. I've done this before on this boat so I know it's not a problem. But if it's the first time you've done it, carefully check each bolt one at a time as you take them out. Put the blue block tight on the bolt, doesn't take a lot. Then go ahead and reinstall it. Be gentle when you reinstall these bolts, get them finger tight, and then go gently. It would be a catastrophe if you cross thread these bolts. First one's in, I'm gonna go ahead and do all three. And since I left the wrench sitting back on the bench, after I've done that, I'll get the little torque wrench that measures in inch pounds and check my work. And then I'll be done. Here's a little problem you might encounter. The countersink around that bolt head is not symmetrical and it's really hard to get a socket in there and on it. It will work. But you need to be careful that you don't round off the bolt head double checked everything with the torque wrench. I was perfect on three and just a little light on one. So if you have a short handled 3 8 drive, you should be able to do this without a torque wrench. Just remember, snug is enough. <laughs> 